explain in this case, right? Uh, can you tell me about the uh, present perfect? Have you ever heard about the present perfect? Yes, okay. That's right. Okay, so I'm clarifying by English. Uh, you have an action and you want to indicate or you want to show that the action in the past but continually at the present, not finish. So we use present perfect, mm -hmm. right? But for this case, present perfect continuous. We emphasize the the action and no stop, right? Mm -hmm. okay, that's it. Thank you so much. the past, yes. now, yes. and uh, continue in the future. No, no not in continue in the future, just like in the past and continually at present, but not finish. Yeah, that's not finished. Yeah, yeah, it's not finished. Okay, that's it. Because we uh, don't know uh, how far is the, the action and so far. We just know the action up to present. Okay, up to present, up to present, up uh, until now. Okay, to understand a little, right? Uh, I mean that the action in the past until now, until now. Because we are not sure about the future. Okay, that's it. Yes. Okay, next question. Look. Look, the bus is coming. Very good. Look, the bus is coming. Why you choose the letter B? Okay, so you can see that you recognize the present continuous, right? Yes. And look in a signal word for present continuous, yes. right? And the bus is the singular third person. Yes. So we use is. Yes. Right. Okay, very good. Would you mind? Would you mind to close the gate? Would you mind to close the gate, please? Okay, so we have this, the structure, the question with would you mind? And this question we ask or request someone very polite. And after mind, we have to use verb in. So the correct answer is, would you mind closing the gate? Okay, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Choose to close yeah. or close. Yeah, because this is a phrasal verb. Yeah, okay. This is, we call that phrasal verb. 